Hi guys, so this video is gonna be like a vlogging type, like halfway through, halfway not, but welcome to my channel. If you are not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and become a part of my family here. Today is gonna be a little different. When do I not do different stuff on my channel? So I'm just gonna be sharing with you what I'm taking with me on my trip. Um, this look, I did a tutorial on it, so you will see that on Halloween. This one you're going to see way before that. So I'm just going to show you really quick what I have in my travel case. A lot of what I'm taking with me are the mini versions of some of the best products that I love. And then I'm just going to sit down in, in my usual angle and share literally the only liquid lipstick that I'm taking with me in different shades and one by a, another company. And I'll mention that later. And then I'm just going to show you the palettes thoroughly on why and which ones I'm taking with me. So let's get into this. Okay, so really quick, this is just like an overview of what I'm taking. I'm just taking literally like all of my travel size stuff. Like I got my cleanser, my moisturizer, setting spray, my cover effects, cover effects, um, primer, my travel perfumes, my sponge. This is my list to make sure I don't forget anything. But I've got some, you know, my, my primers, my setting powders, lip gloss, uh, mascara, liners, lip liners, color pop things of that sort so i just wanted to share with you really quick i got one of my favorite foundations packed in here already this is by l'oreal which is the 24 hour fresh wear infallible i love this foundation is literally probably the best drugstore foundation that you can find and buy so yeah and then i got a blush here by nyx uh, a blush highlighter duo by kbd so yeah let's get into the lipsticks that i'm taking and the palettes all right, you guys, we are in our normal <laughs> setup. So the first thing I want to share with you guys on what I'm taking is at first I legit was packing quite a few different lipstick formulas. And then I'm thinking to myself and I'm like, wait, I have to wear a mask over there and wear a mask anywhere that we may go. So I legit had to redo all of my lipsticks again. And then I literally just picked the one lipstick that does not come off on me and it stays put until I take it off with a makeup removing wipe. And I'm sure will stay put underneath my mask once it sticks, dries and settles down because it usually does every other time I've used them. So we are going to be talking about the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This is the only formula I'm taking. And then I am taking one by Melt Cosmetics. I'm going to test this one out to see if it's great underneath a mask. I, hmm, this is going to be another another video, you guys. I'm not even going to talk about it. Let's, yeah. It's, oh, okay. I'm going to swatch them for you. I did do a lip swatching video a long time ago with, the, with some of these. I will try to link it up above if it lets me because sometimes YouTube be not like letting you do stuff. So anyways, yeah. So the first one I, I'm taking with me is called Praline the Paris. Oh my gosh. Anyways, but it's this gorgeous pinky violet type of lipstick that will go well a lot with some eye looks that I'm planning on doing I think my lighting is a little too much let's take it down a notch so there you go yeah so that is praline de Paris it's so pretty you guys and the reason why I, again I chose this lipstick formula because they really don't budge on me and I used to wear them all the time like legit they were my go-to lipsticks and I'm just like you know what we need to pull them out again so the next one is called cowboy this is a legit one of my favorites it's just that gorgeous rustic orange deep terracotta type of color that you guys know that i love it is the second one up above i'm gonna go from down up so that is the second one i'm taking i know that one is gonna go with a lot of autumn looks that i plan on doing over there the next one is angora and this one is like a cool toned pale dusty purpley it's just everything it's really really different this will go really good with like a smoky eye in my opinion because you know me i be doing some crazy shit on my channel but yeah that's that is the color angora and then i have a color called milk and cookies and it's very similar 
but I feel like this one has more of like a grayish undertone and it's it's darker than Angora but I really love this one it's so cool it's the big swatch on top of it you see the darkness there's a bit more darkness to it so yeah it looks similar here I'll show you it looks similar in the packaging but as you can see it's not so that is the fourth one I'm taking then the fifth one I'm taking is Plum Bomb. I love this color, you guys, because this color is just so beautiful. I feel like this color would go great on so many skin tones. It is just that gorgeous, plummy, dark color that can go really well with a lot of different looks. And this lipstick, I legit wear for all types of occasions. This color. I wear for a lot of different types of occasions I really really like that color and then the last one from uh, the pro Mac collection that I have obviously I have to take a red because red goes with everything and red goes on any skin tone color red is like the ultimate lipstick color and this one is called matador this one is just gorgeous I'm gonna swipe it on the bottom and it is just it this one has a blue undertone so it's just rich in pigments. I absolutely love that. Look how stunning that is. I cannot. Here's a closer look of all of them. This is what, these are the colors that I'm going to take with me. I'm happy that I decided to just take this liquid lipstick formula because you guys, like once you lay them down and you let them dry all the way down, they do not budge. And they're super affordable. They're a drugstore brand. You're not breaking your bank when you get these. If you have not used them, they've been out for a long time. I do know that after a while, they tend to bring out new shades and different names but same formula. So for like the first one that I show you, this is from the Le Macaron collection and then this is from the regular collection. There is also like a chocolate collection where it's just like all different types of chocolatey nudes and mauve dark tone nudes and stuff like that. So those are the ones that I decided to take with me because I know for me they will not budge and they'll stay on even under a mask. Then the last one I'm taking is by Melt Cosmetics. The color is Rebound. And I, this is like, oh my gosh, you guys, this color is just gorgeous. It's, it's in between a corally mauve nude. It is just beautiful. I love this formula. It is just so gorgeous. I've worn this a couple of times and this formula literally has blown me away. Like I want to buy the entire collection of Melt liquid lipsticks. So yeah, so this is the last lipstick that I'm taking. I have noticed that with that formula, it does not dry down to where it gets cracky or dries out my lips and it is fabulous. So I'm definitely taking that one. So let's get into the palettes really quick. So the first one I'm, I'm taking with me is the KKW Smoky Volume 1. This palette is from the, the Bible Collection. I did do an unboxing of that collection on my channel if I can find it and link it up above for you guys to watch. I will. But yeah, this is her six pan palettes. I love these things. Oh my gosh. She just came out with a new opal collection for her birthday. Totally beautiful. And she came out with a new like, uh, I think it's like a velvet matte finish type of lipstick. I think that's what it is. It's a new formula that she did. But yeah, I need to try those. But yeah, I'm taking this one. This is the one that I do a lot of my smoky, gorgeous looks with. I love this palette, you guys. I'm, I almost did not take this with me. And I'm like, wait, hold on. I cannot like not take this palette with me. I'm definitely taking this with me. It's got a little mirror, which is great. Then I'm taking Dream Street, which I think they finally discontinued this. And it is, it's, it's wrong, ColourPop. It is just wrong. Like legit, this is the first collaboration they did with Kathleen Lights. And it is just gorgeous. It doesn't have a mirror in it, but it's okay. These colors are just beautiful for the fall. Got some neutrals in there, some shimmers, a little bit of everything. That blue is just like to die for. So that is the second one I'm taking. Then the third one I'm taking is the Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral. I love this palette, you guys. It's so good. This does not scream fall to you. Like this is gorgeous. The shimmers are gorgeous, these grays. And that shiny gray one, oh my gosh, you guys. I just, I can't. 
it is just perfection and beauty I've done a couple of looks with this palette and I absolutely love it the formula is great the eyeshadows blend out like a dream and I was just like I need some coral colors so the next one I'm taking is the KKW fire is it so fire eyeshadow palette her tan pan eyeshadow palette I have not played with this yet and I'm dying to so this is what it looks like again another great fall palette it is just oh my gosh I already know her eyeshadow formula it's pretty consistent I've never had any issues with it so I am excited to dive into this palette especially these shimmers look at that yellow one. Oh my gosh okay I can't <laughs> so I decided to take that one this one also did not make the cut and I was like, wait, hold on. I haven't used this palette. It's screaming fall to me. The shimmers in here are absolutely gorgeous. And I need to take it. The last palette, because the, the very last one is a curated palette with single eyeshadow. Eyeshadow, so it's not like technically a palette. But palette, palette wise, I am taking the Urban Decay Born This Way palette. This one has a mirror in it. Flaps, it flaps back to perfection. I usually take this palette with me anywhere I travel because it legit has everything that you need. All types of formulas, all types of colors. You can literally use this palette year around. You guys, it's got your gorgeous fall colors, your gorgeous cool tones, neutrals, highlights. You can use some as blushes. Like this is probably a palette that you can do your entire face with and rock it out. It's so good and it's not it's not that heavy to travel with and it does fit into my travel um, makeup bag. So I'm glad about this one. So that is the last technical palette that I'm taking. I also love the formula on this one too. It is just amazing. This, that's probably the best palette that Urban Decay has ever come out with is the Born This Way. So I'm not gonna go through every single color but I curated my own just to take with ColourPop single eyeshadows. Most of them are shimmers. Some of them are mattes. And I just kind of just went through my collection of single eyeshadows and picked the ones that I didn't have in my other palettes that I know I would either use or mix with other shimmers and so on and so forth. So this is what it looks like. I'll, I'll pick out a couple of my favorites. One of my favorites is um, Glass Bowl. And this is what it looks like right here. I'm not sure if this is even still available to be honest with you guys. But it has this gorgeous green pinky shift tone type to it. And this can go over a smoky eye. You can mix this color in with basically anything. And the shift to it especially in the light is just gorgeous. Of course you know I have to throw in the green, the burgundy. This gorgeous blue right here. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is just stunning. Look at that. I just legit need to put that all over my lid. So a few of these I've used. A few of them I haven't. And I'm really excited to use them. I'm literally going to try to do my makeup every day over there. Because I really want to get through some of this stuff. And I don't want to like go somewhere and be like, oh, I bought all this makeup and not use any of it. So i'm legit gonna try to use every single palette out there but yeah you guys so i just wanted to share with you real quick this is probably gonna be a short video so you guys know what i'm using on my two-week vacation in california and i'm excited so i hope you guys enjoy this let me know if you guys are traveling anywhere before the actual holiday season i usually take vacation before the holiday season hits at work or, you know any job that I'm in because obviously during the holiday season they do blackout dates and you can't take anything off I usually take a long nice vacation or rest before it hits us with like a boom and everyone starts shopping and stuff like that so I'm excited for my trip you guys that is what I'm taking with me um let me know if you guys have any of these products in your collection let me know if you're loving them let me know what kind of looks you're doing with them let me know if you guys have tried the L'Oreal infallible pro matte lipsticks because i'm like i love this formula i'm like i'm ready to use them again because they need to be used again all right you guys so be safe be kind and i will see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything of what's going on here i love you guys bye